Back in the woods again today with Tyler on another hunt. Just got in the woods not too far and uh, tripped across a nickel signal. I really figured it was going to be a shotgun head stamp, but I can see it's going to be a nickel. What kind of nickel? I have no idea. Can't tell yet. So let me uh, let me take the brush to it and I'll get right back with you. I'm pretty sure it's a 1900. V nickel. I didn't clean it up too bad. I like to let them dry out so it doesn't take all the patina off them when I brush them. But I'll take a V nickel every day. Outstanding. Keep working on this area a little bit. We got something to beat Tyler so far. He went totally opposite direction I did today. So let's see how good he does. Awesome. Made it all the way out to the point. Nothing but shotgun shell head stamps. Start working my way back up through the woods. It's all uphill. Well, cross your fingers. Wish me luck. I'm gonna head back up. Hopefully Tyler's found something. I got permission from the owner while I was up here metal detecting to do this little corner strip. And Found part of a class for like on a Model T with a canvas coming along. Dug a oh a mason jar lid over there. Just had a really high signal. I was thinking there's gonna be another mason jar lid as I'm pushing up the dirt with my shovel. I can see a big silver rim. So let's see what we have here. Oh, it's a quarter for sure. And I am not, oh, it's a Washington, I think I can see the date, right? Yep, it's a Washington. It's a uh, 61. <laughs> I'll take a silver 61 quarter, that's all right. We'll keep looking around in this little, little corner lot here. Awesome. Well, I was just getting ready to close it up. And ran my coil back over it, and I got a 30 signal. So we aren't done with this one yet. See if we can find it here one handed. I'm gonna have to put you down. It was a silver dime. I'm guessing it's going to be rosy. Yep. Just a rosy. Oop. Muddy rosy. So, all right. That's a nice silver coin spill, I think. I think that's probably the first silver spill I've really ever had. Not 100% sure. I'd have to go back and look, but pretty sure. Anyway, I don't know why my phone's not focusing. Anyway, we'll keep looking around here. Well, I caught up, caught up with Tyler as we were heading out of the woods, and he did awesome. He got a couple parts of a, a toy cap gun, some kind of neat old hubcap. Not sure what brand that is. He said he's going to clean it up and look it up when he gets home. A couple pieces of a binocular, binocular lens, a piece of a lantern. Might be able to clean that up and get the date off this thing. Bottle opener, an advertising one, which is really cool because you get that cleaned up, you might be able to find out what it's advertising. It might be local. Some bullets, a buckle. What was this, Tyler? Just a piece of junk. Oh, okay. Just I thought it was something. Yep. Thought that was a dime for a second. Steel dime. Something there, really light. A penny, a modern quarter. And he got into the bag seals, and he says a couple of them have the local town name on them. I'm gonna get them cleaned up, and I'll get some pictures of them next time. So, really cool. Then I had some junk mason jar lids with the porcelain inserts, 
um, some shotgun shells, a couple bullets, and on the musket ball, I think this is like a, for a closure on a Model A, um, a snap closure. Um, the dime quarter, silver dime and silver quarter, a regular Jefferson nickel, and the V nickel. And yeah, I can check the air on my tires on my way home. <laughs> anyway, thanks for stopping by. Good luck, happy hunting, and take care. Bye bye. What? <laughs>